Hi, one of our smart home here, and today we're gonna to show you how to connect your Ecobee thermostat to Google Home so that you can control it with voice commands just like this. We've got it currently set to 66 degrees, and we're gonna use a Google Home voice command to turn the temperature up. Okay, Google, set main floor to 78 degrees. Sure, setting the main floor to 78 degrees. And you can see that the thermostat has now changed to 78 degrees and that the furnace has come on with this little fire symbol up here. You can also see that on the Google Home device, it has shown up here and changed it to 78 degrees. And I can even make adjustments from the Google Home device if I want. So let's just turn it down a couple degrees and we can watch it turn down over here. We can see it's on a little bit of a delay, but it still lets you do it from the touch screen. So let's show you how to connect these two. Now we're going to show you how to connect Ecobee to Google Home so that you can control it with Google Home voice commands. In order to do this, you're going to need to have your Google Home device set up and installed and connected to the Google Home app on your phone. So we've already done that and created a Google Home account. You're also gonna to need to have your Ecobee device set up and installed on the Ecobee app and connected to Wi-Fi. So we've already done both of those things. And if you haven't done that already, go ahead and do that. Now we're gonna go over here to the upper left-hand corner and we're gonna click the plus symbol. Now we're gonna click on the second option, set up a device. Now we've got two options here, new devices or works with Google. We're gonna click on the second option, works with Google. Now here you can see some of the services that are already linked to my Google Home account. Now, in order to link Ecobee, you're gonna go up here to the magnifying glass in the upper right-hand corner, and you're gonna type Ecobee. And then we should get that to pop up. So let's go ahead and type it in, and we can see that it pops up down here. So we're gonna go ahead and select the logo. Now, Google Home asks us to authorize the Ecobee app for access. So go ahead, scroll down, and see what you are authorizing. Now, we're just gonna click Accept. Now our Ecobee thermostat has been linked. So let's go back and see if it shows up in devices here. Click the back button. Click the back button again. Now our Ecobee device is connected and if we scroll down, we'll be able to see it in these settings. The name of my Ecobee thermostat is main floor. So I just go ahead and click the icon here in the lower right. Now I can control this from the Google Home app, but let's go ahead and try using a Google Home voice command to control our Ecobee thermostat. Now we have our Ecobee thermostat. It's currently set on 68 degrees and the heat is not on. Over here, we've got our Google Home Hub, Google Nest device. So let's go ahead and try a voice command to get this working. Okay, Google, set main floor to 76 degrees. Okay, setting the main floor to 76 degrees. And you can now see that our Ecobee device turned to 76 degrees and the heat is on. You can also control the Ecobee device from the Google Home device itself. So I can click this up or I can click this down right here on the Google Home Hub. So also another interesting feature when you connect Ecobee thermostats to Google Home Hub. So thank you for watching this video. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and if you wanna support us, click any of the links below. Thank you.